You know what I like about pistachios? They're different. You take a regular nut, you put it in the oven, and it dehydrates, shrivels. Not with pistachios. When they get hot, they expand. And they burst right out of the shell. You get to see what's inside. Can I help you with that? <laughs> I'm okay. Can I please have your card? You sure can. How are you? I'm good. It says it's not accepted. A payment bounce? I don't know. Hi, guys. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Whoa, right at the prison, huh? Max was a gladiator. Well, should have seen the other guy. <laughs> She's mine. Anyway, please don't say anything to Sensei Jean. I'm not going to say anything. Hey, you might get that. I like the sound of that. All right, well, can I keep my stuff behind the desk? I guess. All right, thanks. Have fun. That's right, just breathe and relax. That's it. 50%. Good, beautiful. That's it. Ryder, open your guard, give him a free shot. Yeah, no, trust me. Just open your guard, give him a free shot. Mm -hmm. Good, now what do you think he'll do if you open your guard again? Right now? Yep, just try it. From the shoulders, right. Chin down. That's it, Kate. That's called the one, two, one thousand. Give your opponent two free shots, you own his whole game. Let's go. Uh -huh. Oh, beautiful, baby. Amen. That's right. Give and you shall receive. That's it all, boy. Beautiful, Ryder. Yeah, beautiful. Good, 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 baby. Good. Nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Good.
think you're doing, huh? Didn't I tell you 50%? He needs to keep up. Didn't I say 50%? Now, just because Ride is going without safety gear doesn't mean that this is a title match. You okay, champ? Come here. Now, the next time you come in here, you check your ego at the door. You see that door? Check your ego there. Or you can get your hot head out of here. You understand me? Yeah. What do you call me in here? In here, you call me either sensei or sir. I don't hear you. Oh, you got a problem with authority. You want to be a big, hot, tough head, huh? I tell you what, get out of here. Don't yeah, do I don't want to see you in here again. Get out of here. It's all good. Johnny, you bounced another check, Johnny. I'll take care of it. No excuses. Pay your dues, clean the latrine, or quit. Those are the rules, no exceptions. Simple. Right, Johnny? Yes, sir. I'd like to make a public announcement. I'd like to personally thank Johnny for his consistent contributions to the hygiene of this establishment. Let's all give Johnny a big hand. The mop is on the left-hand side of the right latrine. Practice your moves while you're cleaning. Got it? Yes, sir. What's up? Hey, Johnny. How you doing? Good. Good? All right. OK. Um, yep. See you later. Tell Brother Gene, and I'll squash him. Didn't see anything. Pass me a ratchet, five eight inch. Don't you know what a ratchet is? Yeah. What's wrong with using a wrench? More effort, less effective. I gotta go. I'm, uh, I'm out of here. It's only 3 o'clock. Yeah, well, bank can handle the rest. Did you degrease the tools? No, I told you. I got training tonight. That ground and Listen, I, I don't have time to be lectured, time. all right? Believe me, I was a fighter. Whatever, I need my check. Let me tell you something. If you would have stayed with your responsibilities during the week... Listen, I'll do it on Monday. Now, can I get paid or what? Finish your work, and I'll give you the check. You know what? Just keep it. It's not about the money. It's about responsibility. Just clean the tools on Monday, and I'll give you the check. I'm not coming in on Monday. I quit. So I told you, buy a beast. Go for fun, man. Hey. Hey, Torch is off the team. Daddy Jean doesn't want him at boot camp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Well, and since he doesn't like odd numbers, I, I told him that you should go. Me? Well, yeah. I mean, isn't that what you're working for? Yeah, of course. Come on, after.
Six. Tell you're not gonna make 60. We do this every year. That's one down, three to go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh -huh. 49, uh, two down. Yeah, look at weak y'all, Ryder. Uh-huh, come on, that's it. Quick, be a man. Be a man. That's it, Ryder, you're weak. You're weak, be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. 51, uh, see? She owed me 20 bucks. 20 bucks a piece from everybody. Steroids don't have endurance. <laughs> Do they, Matt? I don't know. I don't take steroids. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Matt's German. Yeah. His mama took steroids when she was pregnant. <laughs> Shut up, boy. <laughs> no joking about steroids in this camp. Never. All right, boss. Can't believe y'all ain't in shape. <laughs> Nobody did 60. Yo, come on, that's 20 bucks each, fellas. Pay up. Every year you to make me do this. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? They weren't cooking fast you enough. You just ruined them. Oh, excuse me. Daddy says that I am the best barbecue chef ever. Oh, well, here's your your man purse. Well, it's a satchel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a man purse. No, it's a satchel. You're carrying a man purse. How long you been dating that prison guard? I am not dating Mac. He's totally not my type. What's your type? Um, you know, the usual. Tall, dark, handsome. I'd like to marry a wealthy prince. What about you? Oh, the usual. I'm gonna marry a mean, poor, older woman, hunched back, fat ankles, leathery skin, bad acne, crooked teeth. Who knows how to cook? <laughs> Interesting. That sounds like it might be me in about 79 years. I was thinking that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Give me that money. That's... Uh, wait, wait, wait. You smell that? Oh. Hey, are those steaks ready? Just a second. You like them with lighter fluid all over them? Everybody's off. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you closed that uh, escrow on the house on the hill? Oh, man, I sure did. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Whoever eats the most steak gets $100. Oh, Still here, he here you go. Like, oh, oh, but he needs it. Oh, he needs the money. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Need that protein. Those muscles. 
Thanks for uh, letting me tag along. Sensei. Any new member comes in, does a good job. We give him the big chunk. That's you, baby. You're on the team. I'm taking the food out of my mouth. Yeah, you take the food out of my mouth. Why do you take all those vitamins and then smoke? <sighs> I take vitamins because I smoke. <laughs> what about, I want to know about that. This one. Oh, what about? Uh, that's when I met Matthias. It represents unity. Have you been joined together forever? Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> what about the other one? You have that oh, down there. That's what we broke up. <laughs> it's a sparrow. It represents freedom. Oh. Yeah. Show her the one in your mouth. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's the day my daddy died. Johnny wanted me to ask you something. He did? What? Well, he just wants to know why you call Sensei Jean daddy. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> my biological father. He's a total psycho, by the way. He gave me to Jean to raise me. Mm. Some sort of life debt. Wow. Yeah. Johnny's cute. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Probably Princess Bride. Have you seen it? I haven't. So I know that everybody does that line, though. Something about, hey, my name is Diego. <laughs> you killed my family. You're Prepare to die. Something like that. I don't want you to take this the wrong way because I'm so happy you're here, but I just wanted to know why you want to be training with my dad and all these guys. It's the only shot that I have at being able to create a life. I mean, one day I want to have a family, I want to have kids. You know, and martial arts is my only shot at doing that. I don't want to end up in a garage uh, fixing cars. I want to. I want to be able to provide, you know, something more. And shoot for something big. You know. Live here? Yeah. Come on. It's like a princess in a castle. It's crazy.
What do I look like, a couch? Get your big butt up. <laughs> you can come sit over here. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hey, Johnny. Julie just told me you just quit your dad's job and uh, you're hurting for cash. Yeah. Maybe Sensei G can hook you up with a job at the prison as a guard. His old army friend's the warden. What, working with you and Max? That'd be great. That would be a terrible idea. Why is that? <laughs> warden Harbin Rask saves my life. Oh. Can we talk about something else? No, I think these young folks need to hear the story. He was in a POW camp called Skid Row, just outside of Nova. became a warden. It was either that or be locked in a padded room. Sounds like a nut. Certifiable. But a good old roasted one. True patriot. You know, if you want, I can give him a call. He's always looking for guards with skills. Thank you, Sensei, but uh, I think I'd rather be a janitor and save myself. Where are you going? I'm going to work. Where do you think? I can't watch Oscar. I've got to train tonight. Fighting doesn't bring in the money. 
Not yet. It will. That's why I've got to go train. Okay, well, take him to your mom's house. Okay, I gotta go. I... Sorry. No, the bag oh. magic. You back. Relax. Keep your chin down. Jab right hand hook. Jab right hand round kick. Again, jab right hand round kick. Relax and breathe. Relax and breathe. No, 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 stop. No, you hitting like a little girl. What's up? You and Julia been fighting again? Why don't you put me in a money fight? <laughs> huh, not this again. I'm serious, Sensei. I need money. I think Johnny's ready. Nobody's talking to you. I'm not putting you in a money fight. That's not relaxed. Why not? One, you don't train enough. Two, we already talked about this. You need to get a real job. Maybe you could get a job down at the prison. You're gonna get to the Shut top. up! Earning money gives a man self-respect. Leeching off my daughter makes you mentally weak. Come here. The last thing I want to do is have the man my daughter loves get a public butt whipping. You feel me? Now, you have potential, son. But you're not ready up here. I don't even know why I tolerate you. What can I do for you? I need some work right now. I need a job. Seriously, can you help me out? I tell you what I can do for you. You know Bobby Fitzgerald. The power lifter? Yes. He owes me some money. Let me take care of that for you. I think this is a good idea. Well, you have to work. I need jewel involved. Oh, yeah, you have jewelry. <laughs> have plenty of jewelry. jewelry. Yeah, oh, we'll take two waters, please. Yeah, like, I don't know if I can help you with that. Uh, excuse me, but um, if I'm not mistaken, you owe three thousand dollars. Bobby, what's he talking about? Don't worry about it. Can't you see I'm eating dinner? Yeah, I can see that you're eating dinner. Just relax. Bobby, what's going on? You know, I, I heard people like you got big, strong knees. So what's your point? No, my point is, is that you get to keep them if you pay up. You know what? This guy took it the rest of his money in a week. I said I need my money. Julia, what's the matter? Come Where's down my Where's my dad? Where's my dad? I'm looking for you, okay? You, but Gene is completely upset. He's... I need to talk to you. No, he told me do to stay a, here, okay? Do you have a phone? He's out there as well, looking for you. No, it's I need, okay. Do you have a phone? Yes, I have a phone. And I feel so sorry. I mean, Johnny, he was in such desperate need for money, and he's so much in love with you. I should have never given him that job. But he did tell you, didn't he? Johnny didn't tell anybody anything. That's unbelievable. He's such a good kid, Julia. It's my fault. I've got to call his mom.
Johnny, he's got a chunk of change coming if he lives. I should take you three to one bet, Johnny. Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it. That money's gonna be mine. All right, Johnny. You got three minutes. Have you seen Bolo? Have you seen him in the cage? Nah, brother. He's undefeated. I saw him last month. He's ridiculous. Your boy's three feet tall. He's like a tiger hunting a burro. Poor burro. Bolo's a beast. Uh, my guys. You know, he's not as big as that, yeah, but no size is, is important, but his technique is more important. Right, Watch, you're going to see, bro. It's my money. You're I feel see. bad. It's no, look at that. He looking. needs a baton, man. Bolo Come on. What, what does he need a baton to fight a small guy? Look at that. He's walking tough. He's Johnny, sizing him up. Look, Johnny's just looking. It's he's looking look, for his weak point. Look at that. He's looking for his weak point, man. <laughs> Put me through to Beast Energy Corporation, Los Angeles. This is Mr. Crumb. You going down, General? Lieutenant Rusk. I'd almost forgotten about you. I'm ready to sell my option for the red canvas. So, you found a fighter. Slammed his face up against the fence, kneed him, and finished him off with an elbow. You would have loved it. You did him quicker than the last guy. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> Open B5. I'll get you some money. Don't let the walls get you, buddy. The pros choose BioBeast to keep their competitive edge. 
Release the beast with Bio Beats. This is a big fight for Torch. If he wins this, he's got a chance to go to the world championships after two more victories. Beautiful kick there by Griff. Torch fires back, but it is Griff who takes the wrestler down. Beautiful right hand. Oh, Torch reverses him. Going for the rear naked choke, but Griff shrugs him off. Can Torch be beat at this point? Beautiful suplex into a double. Mounted position now. Signature double hammer fist. Oh, the ref had to pull him off. More of the same from Torch. Total domination. Will we ever see a second round from this guy? Open cell B5. What's up? Gordon wants to see you. Think the warden knows? You kidding me? Of course he knows. What does he want? Having a clue. I'll make sure she gets it. I could have had you locked up for life for what you did to that garden. That's interesting. Didn't think that you knew. When you're in the land of the blind, the man with one eye is king. Why did you call me in here? Oh, well, I think it's time you go professional. Make some real money. I'm going to sponsor you in a fight. The uh, Red Canvas Tournament. As far as the state's concerned, I'm your new probation officer. I don't need a probation officer. I'm still in prison. Until Friday. I've issued a collaborative release order on your behalf. And you'll be in my... My custody. Doesn't sound good. I want you with the sheriff's gym this Saturday, 9 a.m. So what, I have to train with cops? Is that what you're saying? Here. Read that. Sign. Call your mother. I'll be there. Mom. It's me. Yeah. I'm coming home. On Friday. Tomorrow? That's great news. I was just planning on taking the bus. No, 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 darling. I'll send Papa to pick you up. Yeah, OK. Listen, I got to go. Ciao, hijo. Hasta mañana. I love you. All right. Who's that, Mama? I'll tell you all in a minute. Come. Help me bring dinner to the table. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Boys, he is ready. ready. Well, I'm not hungry. Oh, don't you want to grow big and strong like Papi? That's me, that's me. Oh. When Papi was your father's age, he was the strongest man in all the Philippines. All I know is that my father went through tons of money to put that beat down on the wall. Strongest man who didn't pay for his kids. <laughs> That's why your father is in prison. No, he was arrested for contortion, extortion. Don't correct me. Kids. Oscar, your father is in prison because he never took responsibility for his actions. Well, since we're talking about Johnny, I am going to give him a welcome back fiesta tomorrow night. My daddy's coming home tomorrow? Yes, he is. 
Why didn't you tell me? Because I just found out a few minutes ago. So you think throwing a fiesta for him is a great idea? Well, I don't care if it's a good idea or not. I want him to feel welcome back into the family. Who said he's welcome back? Be nice when you go pick him up tomorrow. Natanya's coming home tomorrow. Have her pick him up. Darling, you forgot? She's coming with Pablo, her fiancé, don't you remember? Her professor, el profesor? No, her fiancé. Have him pick up his future brother-in-law at the prison. I already told Johnny you were gonna go pick him up. Sweetie, when you said we were going to meet your family, I didn't know we were going to make a prison break. <laughs> Hi. Um, we came to pick up my brother, Johnny Sanchez. You're Johnny's sister? Man, I'm going to miss that boy. He's... Shut up. I'm gonna need to see both your uh, names and identification. I am uh, Natania Sanchez. I'm Pablo Espana, Natania's fiance. Oh, you're her fiance? <laughs> yeah, I'm her fiance. You ever ridden in a car with a uh, convict before? No, but I've ministered to them. Well, you ain't better pray for each boy, because this boy's wild. Yeah, he's my brother. We'll be fine. Drive past that last uh, fence over there. Wait, so I'll bring him out to you. Thank you. I told you not to wear that dress. Bobby Fitzgerald. Didn't Johnny break his knees? That's his trunk. Small world. You sure you want to do this? I'll work fast. Okay. Good evening. your receipt. Okay. And a child will send you a photo and a thank you letter. Oh, I'll be looking out for that. I must go now. Here you go. So how many kids do you sponsor now? 37. Uh, five to ten. Why? Hmm. I just watched in a fight, that's all. Actually, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Mm -hmm. You guys catch up. Yeah. Bye, mm -hmm. nice, Do you know what happens to fighters after years getting hit in the head? If you're gonna give me another lecture about fighting, well, Mohammed Ali has Parkinson's, and they all suffer from arthritis. I mean, some even go blind after they get the retina detached. Some really nasty stuff. 
Oh, well, it's just part of the game. Stan, let's go some fertility. Already got a kid. Besides, I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. You can work with Papa. <laughs> I'd rather be a blind, infertile guy with Parkinson. Hey, you remember those parties that we used to go to? Yeah, I do. Of course. We were blessed drunk every night. Yeah, that was good times. Not really. I used to be your designated driver. I know. Yeah, while you're in there, grab me another beer, too. It's just impossible. Mom, what time is uh, Julia coming to pick up Oscar? Oscar lives here with us now, Johnny. What? What are you talking about? Oscar, time to go to bed. But I'm winning! Well, I don't care if you're winning. Just turn off your video game and go to bed. It's not fair. No, what are you talking about? You know, life is not fair sometimes. Good night, darling. Hey, what is that for? That's for being rebellious and irreversible. Irresponsible. Stop correcting. You guys, time uh, to go to bed for you, too. You've gotten big, man. Bigger and stronger. Come here. I missed you, dude. I really did. Now go to bed. Now, what are you talking about? What's going on? Johnny, I, I've been meaning to tell you. Mom and Dad have been taking care of Oscar for the past few years. Where's Julie at? What, is she dead or what? She's what? No, no. She's... Well, spit it out! Johnny. Keep your tone down. You've been away. What kind of woman do you think she is, huh? You think she's the one that's gonna be waiting for you after you come out of jail? Is she here? No. She can care less. You know how I felt when she was pregnant. I never believed he was my grandkid until I saw him. She never cared. I told you that many times and you never listened, so? You guys don't even know what you're talking about. You've been off gallivanting in mid school, What are you school, talking okay? about? So what are you talk talking about? about? Hey, don't raise your Look voice at, at me. You oh, guys, yeah, so... I'm, I'm going no, to. No, you're it. not. No empathy, no eye-gouging, and no conscience. I will tell you in my submission, not out or throwing opponents of chance. Two times off, lose. Tonight continues the quest for the world championship with Torch now defending his title against Jermaine Andre, champion out of St. Louis. Hits Andre with a front kick. Andre goes again. Torch gets the clinch, but who gets the takedown is Andre. Right, right combination and down goes Jermaine Andre. Comes back firing kicks, but it's a roundhouse kick by Torch. Andre delivers with brutal knees. And it's a clothesline. Huge kick by Torch. The spinning elbow. Unbelievable. This fight could be Thanks for coming by. Have a good time going. Johnny. You all right? Is uh, Julia around? Yeah, 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 she's here. Come on, come on. Go. She's all the way down there. Congratulations, man. You have yourself a good time, okay? 
Don't drink too much. Johnny, how's it going? I'm rolling. Torch. I mean, what about respect? He doesn't even know the meaning of the word. He doesn't have respect for himself, for the sport, and for anything. It's okay. Look, let's not deal with this now. Hey, everyone, gather around. Bring your glasses. Come on, hurry up. Move it. Can I borrow a torch for a minute? Come on, hurry up. Say a few words. I've known Mr. Willie Williams for seven years. When I met him, he was arrogant, stubborn, and a good for nothing hothead. That's why I named him Torch. And over the years, I kicked him out of my school four times. But what impressed me about Mr. Williams was his passion and his discipline. He reminds me a lot of myself, except I'm good looking and you dog ugly. Mm -hmm. but that's okay. You can't have everything in life. Some of y'all are ugly too, so don't laugh too hard. Okay. Anyway, everybody, raise your glasses. Congratulations on a great win. To Torch. Torch. Oh, what took you so long? Yeah. You worried me. I was home at nine, but I saw the lights on. I just parked. I couldn't get myself to come in. You're going to have to face him sooner or later. Do you know he's passed out drunk on the couch? I don't want him staying here. I do wrong. Do wrong. Oh, darling, no. No, Johnny. You are a great father. <laughs> I just want the best for them. Well, Pablo is a very good man. Hmm? Oh, I miss them being small. Yeah, my mom's Mexican and uh, my dad's Filipino. No, but they're we? actually both born here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. but Mom. Spanish. You tell me, I don't know. It's, it's bad. bad. Who knows? She talks oh. behind my back, I know. <laughs> it was so good. Good morning. Do you want some breakfast? Dad's at the garage. Um, he left a few hours ago. Are you gonna go see him? He doesn't wanna see me. I really miss these, you know? Let's go, come on. Let's go. Hey, this is Pablo. Hi, nice to meet hey, you. Hi, Pablo. He didn't tell you? I got 
Well, there they knew now. Go see your dad. What's up, man? Hey, we don't want to fight. We don't want any trouble, man. You're going to have to give Bob his car back. Johnny, what the hell you shot? Hey, Johnny, Johnny, Bob! Natasha, get out of here! Yeah, now what, huh? What's up? Bob! 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 The bullet just grazed his muscle. He's, he's going to be in some pain, but he should recover just fine. Mrs. Sanchez, your husband, he's in a coma. It's a miracle he's still alive. The blow to his head has caused a lot of internal bleeding, but if the swelling continues, he may not make it. What? Can we go and see him? No, no, you can't. He's still in the ICU. I am very sorry. If there are any changes in your husband's condition, I will let you know.
God's feet and bring it all out of our sin. Baby, I turn after I turn trying to hit you. Help me with business today? No. Either we pay off the bank in four weeks, or the bank takes truck, garage, whole business. How much does my dad owe? $37,000. So what are you going to do when he loses it all? Me? Maybe somebody hired me and I repossess the truck. <laughs> no, seriously. You should train for the red canvas. I can help you. My probation officer said that if I didn't start training for the red canvas, he was going to throw me back in prison. How interesting. Yeah, right? Providence moves when two people agree. Well, I don't agree. He and I agree. You could be a great fighter, like your father. Why is everybody trying to make him out to be some sort of hero? He won some boxing matches in a backwards third world country. Come on. You need new perspective. Bang, sometimes it's just easier being locked up. I didn't know you guys were so far behind. This news has been difficult. What do you want to trouble you? Well, I don't know. Maybe I can take the spring semester off. I, mm -hmm. I can stay home. I can so help out. Education is very important to us. You're going to be the first doctor of the family. Maybe you can take care of the business. Why me? Your sister has to finish school. If she doesn't, your father's dreams will die with him. Dad's not going to die, Mom. Come on. You're late. No, I'm not doing this. Ah, I thought you might say that. I have some inspirational artifacts here. Don't ever try that again. Get off me. She was using that money to dope up. That money was supposed to be for your son. I know because I had her followed. She dumped Oscar the moment that money stopped coming in. Now, trust me. I did you and your son a favor. Do you know what motivates you? It's respect. You've been fighting for respect your whole life. to be earned. When I enlisted to fight in the Vietnam War, our country had a vision to protect freedom. We were willing to die for that vision. What are you willing to die for? Huh? Money is a tool. I could use it as evidence to extend your life in prison. Or I could give it to you as a bonus if I took a big fight. 
It's up to you, winner. I guess our training for today is over. All right, same time, tomorrow. Father, we ask that you look upon Mr. Sanchez with favor and by your grace. In his precious name, we ask that you heal him. Mm -hmm. So what, is he any better? We're working on it, Johnny. You want to join us at Mom's for dinner? No, I'm going to Julia's. <laughs> Let's pray that God smacks my brother upside the head. So he wakes up. I really wish you would have called before coming over. Okay. So what's up? Um, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't. Look, I've been sending you money. When? You stopped. You abandoned us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel like that. It's not completely my fault, though. You never take... You never take responsibility for anything. Never mind. When did you get out? Last Friday. So you've seen Oscar? Yeah. How is he? He's cool. I know what you did. I get it. I know you did it for his own good. I understand. <laughs> you have his eyes. And, you know. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Come here. Come here and sit next to me. Come here. Oh, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. What's wrong? Um. Listen to my mom. How can you say that? Julia? Johnny!
to go see Julia. And she did this to you? No. She sang Max and got into... I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, it's crazy, but... um, I have a chance to fight in the red canvas and... you know, the prize money... If I win, you know, can I help out the family? If anybody could do it, you can. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Hang up. Can you help me, uh, help me get in condition for this fight? It would be my honor. All right, why don't you guys just get out? I'll get out of here so I get some rest, all right? <laughs> Let's go. Big day tomorrow. Morning. Time for your road work. How far do you want me to go? Would you pick me up a chai latte? Now, let's go to Charlie Machado's and pick up heavy bag. It's two miles from here. You're a crazy old man. Better crazy than lazy. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Three minutes, all you got. Fighting Torch is different. He has no fear. Striking, defending takedowns and submissions, that's only half the game. When he's got you where he wants you, and he will, you have to know why you're fighting. That's it, that's it. Easy, easy, from the shoulders. Just breathe and relax, right? And nice. Okay, do it again. And that's what I was talking about. You don't know how to defend against that, do you? You got to think to stay alive. You ready? Gotta be. Daughter's pregnant. I was quick. It wasn't Johnny. It was Max. You're her, uh, legal guardian. Maybe you didn't notice. She was nine years old when you abandoned her. Hey. Yeah, now she's a grown woman. And she makes her own decisions. I didn't abandon her. I let her go. It was for her own good. It was the hardest decision I ever made in my life. <laughs> and she follows your example. You made one hard decision. I made a thousand since then. 
I tried my best to raise her as responsibly as I could. On your behalf, it hurts. So now my debt to you is repaid. I don't owe you anything. You know, the reason I I stopped in here was I was on my way to arrest your brother. It's all under control. In the long term, every decision you make, right or wrong, is gonna come back and either kiss or bite your ass. Buddy. Call the lawyer, relax. Oh, me. What did he do this time? Assault and battery. He raised an attack on Johnny's family. Johnny's family? Yeah. I mean, what, what, why would he do that? They, they repossessed his truck, and he put Johnny's dad in a coma. For you today, it was the first day. You were in real respect. And, and why didn't you tell me Johnny was coming out? Bring me up to speed, Captain. Bring me up to speed. I'm trying to live an honest life. I'm doing my own thing. Then suddenly, these big winds start blowing. People get hurt. And then you just suddenly, out of nowhere, show up in the eye of the hurricane. Boy, are we in a mess again, or what? Well, that's it, baby. Lock him up, get him. Do you remember back? Yeah, that's right, right on. What was it called? The, the Bio Beast Sponsoring Finance. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Remember all the trouble that came up around that? Talk. Torch, torch. Mr. Crank. Owns that company. And he's feeding your fighters that stuff now. The same stuff that he was feeding me when I was in there. He's got a whole juice store. Choice. Choice. Okay. I'm gonna take him down. Me and Johnny. You really think I can win this thing, huh? You're nuts, Captain. Are you teachable? You're nuts. I think so. <clears throat> you think so? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I will be. You're absolutely nuts. Now get out of here. <clears throat> Sign in yet. Down. Hey, over here. Oh, good. We have a special guest with us today. You must be Mr. Bang and Choi. Call me Bang. Explain nice to will. meet you. My name is Harvin. Dan the Beast Severin. Seven world class contenders who will be competing in the North American Championships. The winner of each bout will move on to the next bracket. And the losers, stick around. You just might learn something. But rest assured, whoever wins today's contest will be going up against your prodigy, Torch. For the $50,000 purse, and I feel sorry for that individual. Most of you guys are cage fighters. If you make it to the red canvas, this cage will be gone. And I'll tell you, the cage is much more forgiving than the mosh pit. Let's begin. It's a long road to the red cameras, and here in Division 4, it starts when Stevens and Pereira square off in a quest to win Region 1. It's Pereira being dangerous with the hip toss. These guys know how to kick. Oh, what a beautiful back kick. That almost ended up flying arm bar. Oh, how he got out of it, I don't know. A lot of transitions here. We're seeing it all in this particular fight. Such good ground pound action by Stevens, but the grappling edge I would have to give to Pereira. This one is in the books. Pereira wins by Gogo Plata. Johnny got out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Harry's been training. Better watch his back. Got that fool. Yeah. Just promise me you're going to ask for more money. Patience, bro. In four more weeks, you'll be the contender for the world title. I've won 12 in a row. Just think long term. Keep your eye on the prize. Now, when we go in and see Crane, I want you to be cool. Try to sit up straight. 
Don't try to shake his hand. He is very, very old school. So? I'm new school. That's a good point. Send him in. Gentlemen, we have results of your blood tests. You have been skipping treatments. I'm still winning, ain't I? This stuff makes me feel weird. I win, I can't remember. So you tried missing some of your treatments just so you could remember your victory. Did you? Dr. Singh will take you down to the lab for a few tests. Please join him. championship newcomer Johnny Sanchez against Omega the current region 3 champion Omega comes in strong but Johnny is very good defensively so far Johnny crisp and compact but that low kick hurt Johnny goes right downstairs Muay Thai neck wrestling and Omega gets a beautiful throwdown. Over up, Johnny. Oh, what a kick. Good. Nice. But Johnny starts to chop low. We're seeing a classic Muay Thai versus karate battle. Omega's in trouble here. It ain't pretty, but Johnny's getting the job done. Omega sprawled when there was no shot. And Johnny took advantage. Johnny takes his back. Submit him. Will he get the choke? Finish He's got the arm in position. Omega struggles. Johnny gets the hook in. Finish it. Submit him. That goes from back control. Ground and pound. Omega is not putting up any defense, and it's over. Johnny Sanchez wins Region 3. His next match will be against Lou, the winner of Region 4. That's what I'm talking about. Day 2 underway. All these fighters know what awaits them at the end of the road. Of course, Crazy Bob gets a beautiful hip toss on Pereira, but Pereira pulls into guard. Crazy Bob back for a heel hook. But Crazy Bob in control. Pereira trying to strike from the bottom. And he catches Bob with a good kick. Bob gets on top. And Crazy Bob takes it with a vicious guillotine from the mouth. Bob has hurt his knee. Will he be able to continue? Day three, just as we thought, Crazy Bob is out with a knee injury. Here in Division 4, people have been expecting a kick of from in this Region 2 championship bout. Let's see if they deliver. But look at this. Lim goes for a heel hook. Stretching a hook kick from the ground. A lot of firsts are going to result in this particular one. Oh, what a beautiful kick by Lim. Flying double leg arm bar. Navarro is going to be hard-pressed to get out of this, and he does it. 
Lynn now moves on to the Division Four Championships. And next up, Sanchez versus Lung. And Lung has a long history of Burmese boxing. He actually lived in Burma and had over 70 Burmese boxing matches, and he won about 90% of those, and that's bare knuckle. So Lung, it's not surprising, he comes out with a low kick. Johnny, as we know, is that unknown quantity comes down after that roundhouse kick upside the head. Johnny landed a good shot. And Lung is rocked here. Lung doesn't have the answers and goes for a shot. Johnny swallows out. Lung finally gets Johnny on the deck. Spinning backfish. A beautiful shot. Knocks Lung down. But it's the knees from Sanchez. And a flying knee from the clinch into a head kick. And down goes Lung. Johnny Sanchez wins by KO and moves on. We are the Latino American News Channel. Is it true that you are the son of the world famous boxer, Tiger Sanchez from the Philippines? Well, my dad's a boxer from the Philippines, but his name's Diego, not uh, Tiger. In our country, we call him Tiger. He is a national hero. Torch is unstoppable. Why do you think you have a chance at winning the red canvas? Well, my hope is, is that I'll win because my family's depending upon me. Prize money, you know, it's not gonna solve all of our problems, but it sure would help. It'd probably save my dad's business, everything he's worked for. More next week all from right. KBZ. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I know. Now we have unity, very powerful. Trouble. We saw you on TV and you wanted to see if you could train me and my boys to fight the MMA style. Oscar, what are you doing? I thought you were the bad guy. We don't have time to train anybody. This morning. We come this afternoon, we have some classes at four. How much? How much can you afford? About a hundred a month. Tell you what. If you bring ten friends, I'll give you a $25 discount. But you gotta be here at 4 p.m. All right. We'll see you then. Come on. Don't be late. That video. Come on. There's no deal. All right. What'd you just do? I got you some students. I'm not ready for all that. Ah! You remember ah! what you learned? You have to teach. Ah! Ah! You're crazy, old man. <laughs> Get to work. Ah! Just go up there. There's equipment. See them? Yeah. Good. Start bringing them down. We have a lot of work to do. Those pads have been up there since you and your sister were born. Dad decided to close the school <laughs> and become a good provider. <laughs> and we've been grumpy old repo men ever since. And the time is now. The winner of this contest wins the Division IV Championships and a shot at court for the North American title. A lot of experts have said that Lim would give Johnny Sanchez his toughest fight, and Lim comes out flying. And Johnny doesn't quite know what to do with the high-kicking action of Lim, but Johnny fires back. Oh, Johnny goes down. We knew the head kick might land in this fight. Lim gets his leg cut, and Johnny goes for a trip, and down goes Lim. Johnny pops down for a knee bar. Might end this, but Lim escapes. They're going kick for kick, shin for shin. Johnny's landing the more potent blow, and a big elbow. Down goes Lim, and he pops back up. Lim with a high kick, Johnny with a low kick. Unbelievable action, insanity here in the cage. Johnny Sanchez on top, but Lim escapes again. Johnny with a beautiful low kick, accelerated by a high kick, strong clinch, and a beautiful skyscraper. This fight is over. Sanchez 
wins the tournament and now will face Torch for the North American Championship. I mean, this is insane. He's unbelievably fast. You know, it's like uh, he's got two levels. He just kicks into another gear and then he becomes unstoppable. I mean, that should have knocked him <laughs> out. I mean, he's like a wild animal. It's crazy. You know, it really looks like he's on something. Yeah. No, I mean, they test for drugs, so it's... Yeah, if we can get a blood sample, maybe we can find out what you're up against. <laughs> Can't get a blood sample. Well, urine could work. Oh, sorry. Team double. Too much to drink. First, we were looking for a drug. But only vitamins showed up. So we followed the wild hare. Very dangerous what you guys did. I'm gonna tell you something. The supplement Craig uses on Torch. It's the same stuff he used on me and Nan. When Torch gets knocked out or caught with a good shot, the game changes. It turns into a wild animal. You gotta fight him smart. He has a power surge and becomes unstoppable for about eight seconds. You'll think you knocked him out. All you did was flip a switch. Oh, this is a great one. Okay, six and one. Here you go, little buddy. Done. What is that? Axle grease. Oh! Know his rage and use it against him. When the eight seconds ends, he will be tired. Make sure your eyes are focused on the target. That is the moment you can beat him. No one's lasted the eight seconds. But it's only eight seconds. Well, there's no way of winning. Sure there is. How's that? Well, by submission. Is this normal? The supplements we are getting him modified his adrenal system. He's entering an altered state of mind because his adrenaline levels are spiking. This is the mechanics and how they release the beast. I don't want my fighter's state of mind altered. They need to be able to think clearly. Thinking clearly includes fear, Mr. Ryder. What's the point of winning if he loses his mind in the process? He still has one more fight before it's official. Johnny Sanchez. Torch can beat Johnny. For your sake, let's hope so. If he doesn't, it's all over. I don't want you making a mistake. I'm trying to manhandle Torch. This is a thinking man's game. Walker, down. I need something for you to take to your fight to bring you good luck. That's mm -hmm. great. Uh, nice. Ooh, fire! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> We're going to pray for you. I'm going to need it. One, two, Everyone face Mr. Sanchez. It's my father, Master Sanchez.
All right, come to attention. Sure. Bow. Welcome home. We'll see you. <laughs> this must be my... Your son. It's been a long time. Hey, do you remember my godfather, Sensei Jean? No. But can I call him Grandpa? I'm your grandpa. Wait. It's always nice seeing the son of a contender. My dad's gonna be the next champ. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Can I train him? <laughs> yes, sir. Take a shot. There you go. Double up on that. Uh, duck. Hook right hand. Uh, hook right hand. Right? Again, double hook. Uh, that's my boy. I slip it. Just slip it. Slip. Yeah, slip. Other side. Hang. Hang. Give me a left, right. Mr. Ross. You're wasting your time, Mr. Rusk. You're going to lose what little retirement you have on this. My fighter cannot be defeated. <laughs> we'll see about that. The Red Cannons! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our main event. Three rounds, five minutes each of non-stop MMA action. Tonight's fight is for the North American Red Canvas title. And now, fighting out of the blue corner. Weighing in at a lead, 100. Nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. Please welcome our challenger from East Los Angeles, California, Tiger Sanchez. Yeah, that's it. Welcome to the Red Canvas. Our 
Mark Pitcher, along with the champ, Edward Willis. And tonight, we have the title fight for you. The champion, Torch, goes up against the newcomer, Johnny Tiger Sanchez. And it's the first time we say it's a pleasure to be with you here tonight, Howard. I am so glad that I am on this side of the ring as opposed to that side of the ring, fighting against Torch. Undefeated, no fighter has ever lasted more than one round with this guy, and he's fighting against a virtually an unknown. This is his first red canvas event. But word is on the street is that Sanchez has got unbelievable strikes. He's going to need that skill tonight. Question is, can he stay on his feet long enough against Torch? We're going to find out. Let's go down to ringside. Fair. Johnny Sanchez, Fair. he may be a little bit tense because he knows he's in deep against Torch. Breathe, relax. You got him. You got him, baby. Fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 169 pounds, he is the defending North American Red Canvas title holder. Please welcome Torch! One name says it all, Torch. World-class wrestler, three-time All-American Division I wrestler, as a matter of fact. Submission specialist, he's got his brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His signature move is the guillotine choke, but he loves that ground and pound. Look at this, he's right in Sanchez's face. Referee doesn't seem to like it. Boy, these guys really want it. That's an intimidating man there in Torch. All right. All right, I expect a good, clean fight. There is no hair button, no eye gouging, no growing strikes. When I say separate, I expect you guys to go to the neutral corner. Do you understand? Do you understand? All right. Shake hands. Shake hands. Our referee had to hold Torch back. And an interesting note, they did not touch gloves, so there is no love lost between those. And here we go. Look at this. Torch goes for a shot right away, and Johnny stuffs it. Torch using his boxing. Johnny comes a lot. Beautiful roundhouse kick with a back kick. Boy, Johnny's on fire here right away. We knew he'd come out smoking with the strikes. Superman punch, unbelievable, it nails Torch. <laughs> he kicked him off the canvas. No one has ever pushed Torch this quickly so early on in the fight. Logan looks concerned already. Beautiful knee there. Johnny landing at will in the standing mode. Guillotine, uh-oh, yeah, Johnny's got to get, get out of this. This is a dangerous position. Johnny steps up. Alleviating the tension. Johnny with a high crotch. He slams the wrestler to the floor. Unbelievable. Oh, there's that look from Torch. This could be the beginning of the end. This is not what Johnny wants. Johnny has to get out of this position. ASAP. This is getting vicious now. Torch blasting away that right hand. Looks like business as usual for Torch. No one ever makes it past the first round. Oh, what a shot! Johnny's got to be out of it right here. Wait, that kick was after the bell. That was clearly after the bell. Way after the bell. That was totally my What an incredible first round. We saw Johnny do so well with strikes early, but then it was all torch. Don't underestimate him. Johnny is slick. Johnny was hurt at the end of that round. That round was within a razor of being stopped. Dr. Davidson's letting Sanchez's corner know if this happens again, he'll stop the fight. Just stay relaxed. Breathe out and you'll let you. What the hell is the matter with you? Huh? You trying to blow it? Wake up! Stick to the game plan! I knew you Calm down. I've got it. Son, listen. Trust me for one round, okay? Strike hard. Hit and move for eight seconds. When his rage ends, look for the submissions. Keep the pressure on. Take him down to the ground and pound him out. Breathe, uh-huh. This is the first time Torch has ever been into the second round in his entire career. History in the making. I never thought we'd see this. <laughs> it was a shot by Torch. Torch with another shot. Beautiful sprawl. Beautiful shots to the back of the head, which are legal here in Red Canvas. Beautiful chump hook kick. Chump 360 roundhouse kick lands right on the chin. That should have been a knockout, but we're talking about Torch here. Sky scrape slammed by Torch. Torch is going into his infamous rage. Johnny with a beautiful up kick. 
Johnny going into the guard and Torch looking to work a side show. Johnny slams his way out. Cartwheel pass. Johnny going for an armbar. Beautiful reversal by Torch. Unbelievable action here. Johnny going for a choke. Back on top. This is unbelievable. You thought ground fighting was boring? Check this out. Triangle choke now. Can Johnny escape? Torch goes for the armbar. Johnny's in trouble. Johnny gets out. Round number two is an epic round. Got to be round of the year. I agree. This is the round of the year. Overhand elbow rocks flying guillotine. Johnny postures his way out. Another huge slam into the crowd this time. Johnny's going to make it out of danger because the audience is an active participant here. They can get involved. Johnny decks somebody. Didn't care who it was. What an epic round. The referee has to physically restrain Torch. Torch doesn't want to hear that the round's over. Wow, that was wild. That was an amazing round. Now, each fighter has been thrown off the canvas. According to the red canvas rules, the next fighter off loses. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, that's a... Get it back. Breathe. Get it back, Jimmy. Torch, what are you doing? Look at me. You're blowing this thing, man. You're blowing the entire fight. You gotta finish him. You got focus. Look in my eye. You gotta finish him now. Knock him out. Knock him out now. Let's go, Come on. man. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. For the first time in his career, Torch is in round three. Torch comes in kicking. Johnny evades. Torch gets the clinch. Goes for a suplex, but Johnny blocks with a curl around with a leg. Torch is frustrated once again, and now he has to deal with a Kimura. kick to the body. Torch gets the clinch. Elbow to the face by Johnny. Johnny rolls into an E-bar. Torch could be in trouble here. Torch pushes his way out. Incredible action. Oh, that is a no-no. Even here in red canvas, you can't kick to the groin. What is Torch thinking? That was a flagrant breaking of the rules. A fan jumps in the ring. Oh! Torch just got hit by a chair. Now, it didn't even phase Torch. Oh, Torch is angry now. Wait a minute, where's the referee? We got anarchy here. We got fans jumping in the ring. What is this? I don't oh, come on, referee. Really the real is there's another fight going on right behind him. Logan Ryder picks up a fan and just slams him. And even though pandemonium has broken out here in the red canvas, it looks like the referee will not stop this fight. I don't need to see her with us now, Johnny. Make sure she gets it. Who said he's welcome back? Fighting doesn't bring him the money. I quit. I want you out of here! I don't care anymore! He's passed out drunk on the couch. I don't want to stay here. So what are you gonna do when he loses it all? I don't know why I tolerate you. It's the only shot that I have. I missed you. The last thing I want to do. You did five years in prison, Johnny. Is that the man my daughter loves? This is only eight seconds. Get a public butt when you give up on your dream. This to your mother. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Johnny reverses! I don't believe this! Oh! Johnny with a skyscraper knee. Beautiful! Sanchez is coming with another skyscraper knee. Johnny in control. Torches him. Flying knee! Unbelievable! Torch is down! That has got to be it. Even to. Oh! Torch is getting back up. Johnny comes up. 
drop down elbow right on the forehead. That had better be it. Oh, I can't believe he's getting up again. Johnny rolls into an armbar. official johnny the tiger sanchez is the new north american red canvas lightweight title holder oh yes praise the lord it's for dad it's for you what's this go ahead open it up It's a title to the property. Which may be related to the step down of RCFC. <laughs> and the pink slip to the truck bang. Wow. Thank you. You know the money I said I'd give you after you won? I invested in a fighter. And we won. Long term investment, right? You got it. God got you covered. Haters can't bust your bubble. If you believe you can do it, look what I did. I moved away from when the streets held me hostage. Once you see the view from the top, you'll never want to come down. Stay humble. Pride always comes before the fall. Simple, but not easy. I want you to lead the fight team. What about Torch? It's a big news day for the Red Canvas fighting circuit as big changes are underway. First off, it's official. Johnny the Tiger Sanchez is the new North American Red Canvas lightweight title holder after issuing a punishing defeat to the formerly undefeated champ, Willie Torch Williams, who was rushed to the hospital last night. The former title holder remains in critical condition from his injuries and is undergoing treatment for an undisclosed blood disease that police officials are alleging may be related to illegal intravenous performance enhancing supplements. Earlier in the week, authorities received an anonymous tip originally thought to be a hoax that led to the possible discovery. The State Athletic Commission has temporarily suspended manager and former RC champ Logan Ryder, as well as all of his fighters, until a full investigation can be performed. Commissioner Johnson stated we will get to the root of the problem, no matter how deep it runs, which may be related to the step down of RCFC CEO and majority shareholder, Insu Prang. Tonight, we'll have a special expose on drugs in sports. Are we demanding too much from the stars of tomorrow? That'll be later. Now, let's move on to that.